Steve, what's different about the Tier 4 engine than the Tier 4 interim engines that Scania offers? Um, on our engines, on the smaller, the uh, inline 5 and the inline 6 engine, we're going to use a uh, light EGR, which is about 7 to 5, uh, 7 to 10 percent EGR going through it. We're also going to use a DOC catalyst, and we're also going to use a VGT turbocharger. Okay, and can you explain a little bit about the variable vane turbocharger and what that does for the engine? Um, basically, allows us to change the uh, pitch of the impeller blades and uh, change the profile and the running profile of the turbocharger itself. And in terms of packaging, what all is going to be included in the Tier 4 final version that is not currently on the Tier 4 interim engine? Um, as I said before, it's going to be Tier 4i. We didn't have any EGR at all. We had no DOC, and we used a standard turbocharger. On this one, we're using both all three of those components. And the big change is that the footprint of the engine is actually going to stay the same. Can you explain, explain in your previous generation Tier 4 interim engines, you weren't using EGR, now you're using what you refer to as light EGR. Can you explain what transfer transfer? We had to use the difference. The difference between it is we had to use that because the NOx levels and the uh, particles and CO levels change dramatically between I and final. And on the uh, Tier 4 I engines, we were allowed to, we were able to take care of it just with the SCR system. On the new final engines, we had to go with the VGT, the DOC, and actually the light EGR, so we had to treat the gases a little bit different once they enter the engine and get the intake temperature up just a little bit more. Okay, and I understand there's some advantage here from the OEM's perspective in that you never changed the for you never changed the footprint of the engine, and that it basically have the same dimensions that you had before. Previous. The overall dimensions are basically the same. Um, when we designed the radiator package for the I, we actually left a little bit of room for the extra radiator capacity we need when we use light EGR because we are adding a little more. Um, temperature needs to be scrubbed off by the radiator systems.